Yeah, is it recording? Okay. I'm just going to check and see if my camera's set up right. With the CD. I can see myself. Okay, that's good enough. Anyway. Hey guys. Um, I made this video like three times. Because uh, <laughs> I had nothing better to do. This is a dreadlock update. Um, I took out every single one of my dreads. Um, every single one of my dreads. And uh, this was because, as a review of the last video, I don't know how clearly I stated all of it, but basically, when I did my dreads, I did them, I put these extensions into them, which are itchy. Ew, and a dust is coming off them. That's, that doesn't seem good. But anyway, they're mostly human hair extensions, and, uh, you know, my hair was like this long, if you can remember what that looked like, when I took them out. <sighs> These were itchy, and, like, they were itchy to my boyfriend, they were itchy to me, they made cuddles unhappy, so no more human hair extensions. Maybe they work better for you, I don't know, but I took them out. But the problem was my sectioning. Um, I just grabbed a bit of hair and I said, oh, that feels about right. You know, it feels a little bit square. It feels the right size. Let's do this. And uh, that left me with, like, weird, irregularly bordered, like, red sections. It would be like this. I'm drawing again. Look at me. I guess they were kind of separated, like, cells. But, you know, it was sections like this that would be really hard to separate. I wanted sections like this. Like bricks, you know? So that way it's easier to separate each individual dread because you know that there's a part there. Um, it causes a lot of problems. But anyway, took out all my dreads and uh, I had my hair sectioned. By no means do you have to do this if you're making dreads. It's just a suggestion. Go get a hairdresser or a talented friend to section your hair. Like, really. I got it all sectioned. I tried to get it staggered so the parts didn't fall directly on top of another part. You know what I mean? So it's not like like a grid. It's like bricks. I hope that's clear. I think the lady did a good job. I think they're all a good size. I've started a few dreads here. Um, the hair in my mouth. And I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Also, I have a really gross surprise for you. Well, I don't think it's gross, but um, it's a 57 inch surprise for you. Now, let's pull this up here. So, the surprise is this. When you take your dreads out, you get lots and lots and lots of hair, right? Lots and lots and lots of hair comes out because it doesn't go in the brush, it doesn't go in your drain, it doesn't go in your pillow, it goes like this. So I took all my hair and I made a super dread that is almost longer than my arm span. Can you see this? This is my super dread. This is 100% my hair. Super dread. And uh, sometimes I think I belong in the Victorian era because they were also, did weird shit with hair like me, and, uh, people nowadays think it's a little creepy, but I like it. Um, what else? And I wanted to show you how I make my dreads, since I'm currently making all new ones. Um, so basically, let me take one out. You know, actually, I'm gonna save that for another video, because it might take a little while, so... I guess I gave you my surprise, so cat's out of the bag on that one. Um, and yeah, I've got my hair sectioned. Um, you know, I feel that it's worth it to get the hair sectioned. Um, it cost me about 30 bucks for an hour's worth of just sectioning. It took her actually 45 minutes, so I gave her a tip, and it came to less than $40. And I feel, you know, dreads can be free if you want to do them yourself, and that's fine. I mean, there's no one way to do dreads, so... Jets can be free, um, but I felt like it was a good investment if I'm going to have a hairstyle for a year to just, you know, have someone separate it for me. That's my rationale. Here's all my sections. It hurts, so I want to get my dreads done so it feels better. 
Look at how nice and sturdy this little babies are. I'm gonna put wool extensions in. Won't that be great? Ooh, I keep winking. I'm sorry. I'm a creeper. Oh, and uh, I want to give a shout out to Miss One Love. I'll put her page right here. This girl saw me at the Saturday market and I was like, oh my god, I have a fan. Like, she commented on my video and she's like, I watch your YouTube videos. So it made me feel like I had like a little fan and I was like, I'm kind of internet popular. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna shut up now. I'll make my next video. Alright, bye guys. Bye. Bye. Have a good time. Bye.